Tomorrow, South Dakota, the first state to recognize the holiday, will celebrate Native Americans Day along with just a few other states. Kelland's Lauren Solick spoke with a man who was involved in this day's distinction. In 1989, Lynn Hart, who is half Sioux and half black, went to Pierre advocating for Martin Luther King Jr. Day to be a legal holiday. His trip to the state capitol ended up helping produce not only that holiday, but Native Americans Day in South Dakota, too. That's one thing Governor Mitchelson told me. He says, Lynn, we are probably the one of the last four states in the Union to recognize Dr. Martin Luther King, but we will be the first state in the Union to recognize Native Americans. Americans. And that was 30 years ago. This is the 30th anniversary of South Dakota recognizing and creating America's first Native American Day. Hoo hoo! Okay, hey! That's what I'm talking about. 1990 was designated a year in reconciliation, and it was the first year Native Americans Day was officially celebrated in the state. Ceremonies took place in Custer State Park and at Crazy Horse Memorial. Well, the year in reconciliation, Governor Mickelson told me that we, as non- Indians, we have been strangers too long. Hart says he wants recognition for Native Americans all year long, not just on the second Monday of October. My goal, my whole goal is to, to remind America of a group of people who once with pride and harmony inhabited this land, but today unfortunately are roaming out of sight and out of mind like the buffalo. In Sioux Falls, Lauren Solick, Hello Land News. Usually a Native Americans Day Parade takes place in Sioux Falls, but because of COVID-19, it has been canceled this year. So to learn more about the history of Native Americans Day in South Dakota, visit Kelloland.com.